Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today we are going to find out what's the most likely outcome in the near future between you and your person uh, you're currently thinking of or dealing with, okay? Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and may not resonate with each and every one of you. Okay, Aquarius, please and angels, please show me what's the most likely outcome between Aquarius person and Aquarius in the near future. Aquarius, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. Whenever I say someone or somebody, that means it either could be you or your person, okay? And this is a daily reading. As you guys know, I post your videos almost every single day. So um, this is why this reading is predicting the near future. But whatever happens after that, we really don't know, okay? But let's see. We've got these Seven of Cups here in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Six of Wands here uh, in an upright position. I feel like, Chris, if you're walking away from this person or this person, you're, or your person has walked away from you or thinking about walking away, I feel like somebody's going to try and put a stop to it, right? Because Eight of Cups here, this person is actually walking away. And the, the world here is in reverse though. That means the chapter is not closed yet. And then we've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Again, I feel like somebody here is on their way to walking away or have already walked away and possibly stop, you know, focusing on this connection or investing in this connection. And this is when the Knight of Cups happens. That means you could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio. I see a love offer because Two of Cups is here. So that means mo your uh, most likely outcome between you and your person could possibly be a reconciliation or an offer of reconciliation. However, this may not always mean walking away from the connection. Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands here may indicate also for some of you, if you're going through some issues with your person, it may indicate like walking away from the past. Past issues both of you may have with each other or current issues that both of you may have with each other. And Seven of Cups in reverse and Six of Pentacles in reverse. If this includes, I mean, if this has something to do with a choice or other options i sense somebody walking away from the other options okay and choosing to stay because the world here is in reverse no longer feeding another person and six of wands wanting to fight for this connection wanting to win uh win your heart or you wanting to win your person's heart again it could go vice versa let's see more uh chris Queen of Cups is in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse, and also we've got the Ace of Swords here. Hmm. Uh, a communication will happen, I feel. Either you or your person is going to say that they need to... Um, that they need to communicate, but this communication is a very honest communication. They also will be telling you or you also will be telling this person if... if this is a third party situation that they're done with a third party and they're cutting them off, right? However, if this has nothing to do with a third party, then the Ace of Swords can indicate them just uh, telling you or you telling this person, your person, the truth in regards to how they feel about you, how you feel about them. I definitely sense the Chris in the near future, uh, most likely outcome between two of you will be a reconciliation, getting back together. Reconciliation may not always mean like getting back together but it could also indicate you know just being on the same page uh and um being on the same page and try to move on i feel like again because of the ace of swords and the eight of cups trying to move on from the past past hurt past pain here ten of swords and lovers and the queen of cups and lovers uh, Chris could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Strong, Fire, I'm seeing here as well, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, it can be any sign. So, Nine of Pentacles is in reverse, Four of Wands, and also we've got the Four of Swords in reverse. Uh, for those of you, Chris, um, 
Nine of Pentacles in reverse also can indicate somebody who is lack of commitment or lack of uh, finance, uh, finances or they may not be doing very well career-wise or they're just not stable financially. If this is your case, if this is a scenario, I kind of feel like um, somebody is going to make sure with the four ones. Number four in, is stability, right? Somebody might just work hard to work hard to stabilize their career or their finances. Okay, if I know this is very specific and it's not going to apply to all of you, but four ones generally indicates reconciliation getting back together or moving in together okay for some of you that could be a proposal in regards of moving in together getting married being really clear in regards of what they truly want from this connection which is to fight for this connection and to stay together however it comes in a ten of swords uh, ten of wands here also can indicate it takes somebody to try and move on uh, walk in a way before this can happen right so it feels like maybe it could be an absence that could be make, that could be making someone realizing it with the ace of swords here because uh, four swords in reverse somebody here is going to feel really restless right and then uh, because of the absence because eight of cups is here somebody is making a choice to not fully or to not um, invest emotionally could be mentally, could be effort, effort wise or energy, energetically. I just feel like it takes somebody to try and disconnect or has disconnected in order for this reconciliation to happen. Okay, there will be an offer here, but for some of you, Aquarius, you may not accept it. Okay, or that they may not accept it. If you're the one offering it to them but i feel like there is a chance of course with the two of cups here of a reconciliation reconciliation because six of wands indicates also success right i just feel like either one of your careers could be you or your person is going to realize something here very clearly that they want this connection because they find it really hard to move on because the world here is in reverse also another scenario i'm seeing here is that Aquarius, if somebody has already walked away, made a choice to walk away, and they at that point could be very sure that this is the right thing to do, they're going to realize it's not the right thing, okay, to do. Because the Ten of Swords here is in one first. So somebody here may be feeling that they need to heal this connection. Remove the Swords off of your back, or you removing the Swords off of the person's back. Hmm. I don't see with the ten of wands it's going to be hard I feel but someone is going to persevere through and pretty de determined that they want to win you back or compromise with you or or it could be you um I feel like it could go vice versa sorry I'm a little bit I don't know why <laughs> today in all of my readings I'm like not smooth but anyway hope you resonated uh chris if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm going to leave you with two videos on the screen right now these videos are from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel if you're interested check it out and also i'll leave you with a playlist on the screen this playlist has all of the readings that i've done for you for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions but don't waste any of these videos watch it because they're still new they're still fresh and as you guys know, I post your videos almost every single day. So check it out, Chris, if you want to. If not, it's fine too. I am going to leave you with also... Uh, no, it's done. <laughs> I'm open for personal readings. Yeah, that was what I was going to say. Um, if you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. For those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care, Chris. Bye.